With governors imposing stay-at-home orders and businesses having employees work remotely, it poses the question, how are lockdowns affecting commercial real estate? One commercial landlord says a recent slump in the sector can be blamed on New York's government and what she characterizes as Marxist policies. Here to discuss her comments more and the matter further is the founder and CEO of Golden Key Realty, Evie Angelakis. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Stephanie. So you are a commercial landlord yourself and say the blame falls on New York's government and Marxist policies. Which specific policies from de Blasio or Cuomo are negatively impacting real estate? Well, uh, I'm going to speak first uh, in regards to the policies of uh, Governor Cuomo. Uh, New York is still closed. We haven't had any cases in uh, uh, in the recent weeks. Uh, coronavirus has been at the minimum, uh, literally, in the past few weeks. However, New York is still not open fully. Uh, those are hurting. Those policies are hurting the businesses, are hurting the restaurants. We have about 25, 26,000 restaurants in New York City. Only about 3,000 of them are open. And the ones that are open are still uh, supposed to be sitting people outside, and you cannot even sit inside. And uh, this is summer, it's very hot outside, and uh, it's not helping anything. So the businesses that survived go COVID are going to suffer a lot due to uh, uh, the policies of our New York state government. Uh, as far as the Blasio uh, is concerned, uh, we have policies from the Blasio that are uh, defunding the police and telling the NYPD to to stand down uh, and not to crack on the crime has become very, very dangerous, even if you're sitting outside. Uh, we had a stabbing the other day in a restaurant in New York City. Uh, we have people going in supermarket and hitting the, uh, the managers of the supermarket. So it's pretty much not safe to go anywhere. Uh, it's not even safe to go to supermarket. It's not safe to sit in a restaurant. Uh, those are policies that are hurting tremendously the businesses in New York. And uh, it begs the question, is this being done intentionally? or not. I want to bring up a point that you made. Well, many businesses in New York City have had to board up their storefronts from vandals during the Black Lives Matter protests, which have gone into riots. How much has this impacted reopening within the Big Apple? Um, that has been a major issue, especially if you're looking on Fifth Avenue and uh, Madison Avenue, uh, which are the most prestigious avenues for uh, uh, shopping in the whole world. Those are iconic uh, locations. And you have, uh, you know, uh, companies like Valentino that are trying to get out of their lease uh, specifically because, uh, for example, Valentino was paying $2,500 per square foot on uh, Fifth Avenue, which is extremely high and in comparison if you go in Broadway Broadway area it's about two hundred dollars per square foot so uh, the the point that Valentino is making is that eventually they cannot get uh, this is not the prestigious location that once was uh, there was a video that was circulating not long ago in which you see the whole Fifth Avenue uh, boarded up and it seems like a ghost town you do not recognize Fifth Avenue anymore you don't recognize Madison Avenue anymore there is a complete change in in, in the landscape of New York City and regarding shopping malls, Governor Andrew Cuomo made an interesting comment. He wants to require a certain sort of air filtration system in order for those shopping malls to reopen. As you're in real estate, how long would it take to install in order to meet those guidelines? And what are some of the financial burdens for businesses? The financial burden is going to be tremendous because, uh, you know, you're talking for millions and millions of dollars uh, of, of new units to be installed. Unless Governor Cuomo is offering a kind of credit uh, towards either the, the taxes, income taxes, property taxes, uh, nobody is going to do it. And uh, this is not just a problem, but if he's asking all the malls to have them in order for them to open, it's going to delay the opening of the malls even further. And by the time they are going to manage to get these units in place, chances are they are going to be ready to close completely because uh, it's, it's the maintenance and uh, uh, the carry-on cost is extremely high uh, for those malls to, uh, to overcome the crisis. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.